This is going to be a little different. Yeah. You know, I didn't even get to do my intro. I mean, what the heck? I'm just, you know, you know what? Fine. Happy Saturday and welcome to my channel. If you're new, glad to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, glad to have you back. You can become a channel supporter through Patreon and the merch store. Both are linked down in the video description. And of course, I'll talk more about those options towards the end of the video. Of course, the fastest, easiest, and probably the freest way for you guys to support what we do here is by becoming a subscriber. So make sure to click the subscribe button and smash that like button. Hey, just so you're aware, in two more weeks, I'll be doing my first lecture at the Kings County Library. Uh, I'll be covering monomyths and their adaptations. The time is set for 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you cannot make it in person, because uh, a lot of you guys are, you know, in other parts of the country, I'll be live streaming the session for Forming Fantasy. So I hope to see you guys logged in. So this was a little unexpected. I was planning on doing my top 10 audiobooks in July, but due to unforeseeable circumstances, I did not have a guest presenter for the top 10 recommendation list this month. So I'm breaking down my top 10 audiobooks into two lists. I'll present numbers 10 through 6 this month, and I'll be back in July for items 5 through 1. So here we go. Number 10 is Halo, Shadows of Reach by Troy Denning. This novel works as an in-canon tie-in between the events of the games Halo 5 and Halo Infinite, which came out back in November and December. Master Chief and Blue Team, not Silver for those of you watching the show, have returned to their old stomping grounds on the planet Reach. The surface is still glazed from the Human Covenant War and the Spartans are on mission trying to find out why the Banished, a Covenant splinter cell, or Splinter Faction, are there too. Number nine is Eska by Erica Schaaf. This 30-minute audio drama depicts a test of an experimental new submersible into the Marianas Trench. The brilliant researcher finds more than she bargains for as she has an encounter she will remember for the rest of her life. At number eight is The Hobbit, written by J.R.R. Tolkien and narrated by Gollum himself, Andy Serkis. I really enjoyed listening to this version, uh, especially in chapter five, when you get to hear the rapid fire back and forth as Circus switches between voicing Bilbo and voicing Gollum. It is really a superb performance by him. For number seven, I have Firefly Generations by Tim Levin. I love this franchise as well as Levin's writing. Say what you will about Joss Whedon as a person, but he has given us some of the best characters in the verse, and Levin, who has worked on Aliens, Star Wars, and wrote the novelization for the Cabin in the Woods movie, he knows how to use these characters well. The atmosphere is creepy, and you definitely get a Wayland yutani Corporation vibe in the story's third act. Finally, at number six, I'm throwing in a seminal classic, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, as narrated by the superb Tim Curry. There couldn't be any voice better suited for bringing Ebenezer Scrooge and the three ghosts that he has to deal with to life. Sure, other actors have done it well, but this is Tim Curry. He's a living legend when it comes to his voice acting. If you're interested in these titles, you can find them on audiobook wherever audiobooks are sold. I personally use Audible and I enjoy the subscription immensely given the amount of time I spend driving to work each day. So check out Audible. You will not regret it. Hey, thanks for watching. Please make sure to hit like and subscribe. 
If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so on Patreon through one of three affordable support plans. Patrons get access to blooper reels, behind the scenes videos, and so much more. You can also buy sweet merch from my store on Teespring, which you can then turn around and rep on Instagram and Twitter by tagging me at GKJ underscore publishing and making sure to use the hashtag five kingdoms merch. Or you can sign up for the free poster giveaway. All links are down in the video description and I will announce a winner for the poster when I hit 200 YouTube subscribers. I'll see you guys back here next week for a brand new author awareness interview featuring a conversation with James Fox and his new writing partner, Amy Duboff.